everyone, I'm Penny from Your Closet, Your Style. Welcome back to this week's video. In this week's video, we're going to talk about another workhorse in your closet, and that is la, the denim jean jacket. So if something is a workhorse in your closet, it should be kind of what the name denotes, something that really works for you in your wardrobe, and not just one season, and not just in one outfit but in all seasons and in many different outfits. So that's kind of what I'm going to walk you through today. Obviously, you may not wear it the exact same way. I mean, that's part of owning your own style, right? But I do want to, as I try to every week, inspire you to look in your closet and see what you may be missing that you already have. Now, a disclaimer here. I must say, if you don't have a jean jacket in your wardrobe, you really should own one. Uh, it's just such a versatile piece and I hope that you see that today. And speaking of today, I would love it if uh, you would subscribe to my channel and like this video if you were inspired. So let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is just talk briefly about the jean jacket um, and give you a history of the jean jacket. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to give you a history. But I did want to give you some of the options that you will see out there. So the first one is the one I'm wearing. Um, and I would put a link to this below, but you guys have had this jean jacket forever. Um, but this is one from Chico's, actually. And it just has a little more detailing. It's got uh, some detailing of some thread trim running through the front. And then the cuffs of the uh, sleeves are also fringed, have a finish to them. And it's not um, completely a full sleeve, if you notice that too. So you have a lot of versatility in what you can pull through on the end. It is of average length, I feel like. It hits me where most je typical jean jackets do. The color on it, I think, is important on this piece. It's a bit darker. It's obviously by no means a dark wash, but it's more of a medium wash jean jacket. And then I just quickly want to show you two others that I happen to own. So the first one, which I actually have talked about a couple times, I know I talked about it for sure last week, but this is um, a shorter version of a jean jacket. And actually, funny enough, ha, huh, the, the length of the jacket itself is shorter, but the sleeves are longer. And if you are, as I've mentioned before, vertically challenged like me, then obviously I, this one's always cuffed. What can I say? But the reason I like this piece is because it is great for wearing with a dress um, especially one that is A-line or um, a maxi dress, which I'm actually going to show you today, just because of the shorter length of it, especially on a vertically challenged person. It just lengthens you rather than cuts you off in an unflattering place. And then the other jean jacket, which you may see a glimpse of behind me, is just a tried and true Gap denim jean jacket. The length on this one, um, probably is just a tad longer than the one I have on. But again, um, it's, it's a friendly wash, and by that I mean it's not super dark and it's not bleached. So it really is versatile. It goes through every season. It is just another fine, basic jean jacket. I do encourage you on this one, this would be a piece that maybe you do spend a bit more money on because it is something that you will wear forever but quality more than price. So if you can find a Gap one, which I think is great quality, and also find it on sale, that's a great deal. But also, if you have to pay full price for it, I think it's well worth your money. All right, so what we're gonna do next is go through some of the outfits that I uh, wear and have been able to make using jean jackets just to show you how it's a workhorse in your closet. So let's get started. So funny enough, the first one that I'm going to show you is actually what I'm wearing. So again, a lot of this is personal preference. I do not, I'm not a fan of denim with denim. That doesn't mean to say I don't think it looks cool. Just for me and my style, I don't like it. If you do, that's awesome. Um, and there are many ways that you can wear that. Um, I prefer if you're going to do that that you have some differentiation in it so it looks like different pieces 
rather than like a denim jumpsuit, but that's up to you. So anyway, I digress. So this is the same jean jacket that obviously you just saw for the Chico's one, older. Um, but I pair my jean jacket most often with khakis um, because I love the casual feel of all of it. Um, and then I'm not worrying about whether the denims match. It's just a simple denim jacket with khakis. Any color khaki, any style of khaki, any season. Khaki cropped pants, khaki capris, khaki full length pants. I've got um, a khaki almost ankle pant on today. Um, but just a casual, nice, great khaki look. Um, for fall, obviously, I've paired it with one of those Target A New Day um, long sleeve tees in a really pretty, um, almost burnt orange heathered color just to pull out the fall. Um, but, I, oh my gosh, I mean, we could go on forever with the possibilities for how you're going to pair this as far as what color you could wear underneath it. Easily also replace the, um, this t-shirt with a white blouse or a printed blouse and you are putting your outfit all together. The other thing I love about this outfit is that right now for fall season when you never know what the weather is going to be like from beginning of the day to end of the day, this still allows you to take the jacket off and still have a look that is put together and um, looks great. So this is the first one I'm going to give you um, or try to give you a full view with the jacket and the pants. So stay tuned. So this is the shorter version and then um, I'll pan through and show you the um, pants. So then this is oh, that's a horrible camera angle is what that is. But um, this is then the khakis with the jean jacket. They are ankle length. It's just a simple, casual, put together look, but you still look like you knew what you were doing, if you know what I mean. So this is again look number one. Okay, so look number two, I'm actually going to insert a photo and we'll try to keep the photo up while I'm um, talking about it. But this, the piece in this is a beautiful culotte, um, one piece culotte from Anthropology with a beautiful, I think print on it, great detailing on the pleats, and then the print goes almost all the way to the bottom of the hem, which you'll see in the full length um, photo. But what I did with this particular piece was I actually layered a white blouse underneath this and then paired it with the cropped jacket. Again, for the reasons that I talked about um, because of the silhouette of that culotte and also because of my height. Um, for a shorter person, it's easier to carry off than a shorter jacket because you add length instead of cutting yourself off. So that's what this photo details. But I love the versatility in this of um, being able to also take the jacket off again and... Um, have the white blouse with the culotte over it. Uh, also belting that um, more clearly defines your waist and then um, you're able to add that to it. You could also pair that with brown boots which I think would be adorable or um, a simple pair of flats or in the spring maybe a pair of sandals. Um, the other thing about that for me and you may say well I don't want to do a denim jacket I'd rather do a cardigan. Well you could and you could over this too. But I just like um, almost the juxtaposition, I guess, of what you think is going to be a dress, <clears throat> excuse me, a dressier culotte, and then you've paired it with a more casual denim jacket. I think a cardigan would dress up that piece a little more than in some instances I'm interested in doing. So that's again why I love that, that uh, denim jacket piece. So that would be number two for the jean jacket. Okay, I'm back. So um, this is the next look, which I believe is three, look three. All right, so this is probably one of my favorites. Um, I'm also going to insert a picture of an outfit that I put together for New Year's last year. I, first of all, this pink skirt, which I'll give you um, a better look at in just a second, is um, a full, 
beautiful skirt with um, a small crinoline underneath it and obviously with something else is very dressy. So I paired it then with for this New Year's party with a graphic tee which I think was five dollars from maybe Old Navy then the shorter jean jacket which I love and then black boots. It was a New Year's party at someone's house. So for me and my style, I didn't want to show up in jeans or something too casual. And obviously, I did not want to be the only one there in a cocktail dress. But I wanted to dress for the occasion. And I wanted to dress for the, for the experience that I wanted to have that night. And it was New Year's and festive. And so that's what I did. Um, and then we've talked about this before, but I think choices with this look for accessories you can go so many different ways. You can pull back through the um, classic styling of the skirt and do pearls. You could do, I have a couple of statement necklaces. I might do this one or this one or I mean, you catch what I'm saying, right? You have so many options. Or add a bit of color with this one. Um, I also have a couple of necklaces for my great-grandmother, single strand colored jewels that I would easily wear. But I just wanted to show again how many different options you have. And I wanna also show you a close-up of the skirt, so stay tuned. So this is the skirt. You know the other bonus about the skirt? That's right, pockets! But do you see the fullness and the beautiful shape of the skirt? And obviously in your mind, I'm sure you can see how dressy it could be. Um, I have a sleeveless, beautiful um, cropped sweater that I wear with it as well. But just when we're talking about the jean jacket, what a jean jacket can do to an otherwise dressy piece. You could get the same feel out of this by put, pairing it with a pair of really pants, um, even embellished ones or, um, you know, something more along the cocktail party theme. I think an outfit like this or something with a, a pair of super dressy pants that, like I just mentioned, is great for a date night or a girl's night out or just, just a great evening. Um, even to go to a party or an open house, especially for the holidays coming up, I think is another great option. So here's this one. On to the next, of course. All right, so if you're keeping track, this is look four. So this is a maxi dress, sleeveless. What am I saying? This is a maxi dress, strapless. And I've paired it with the shorter jean jacket, but I would definitely wear it with either of the other two jackets that I've shown you. Um, this is great for spring, um, a cool summer evening, for fall even, depending on the print and the style of the dress and all of that. Um, but I love this as a layering piece as an option to the cardigan, which we kind of talked about briefly. The other reason I love this is if you're going to wear it um, and you know you won't be taking the jacket off, if for whatever reason you don't want to wear a strapless bra with a strapless dress, you can have your bra on with your straps, with the jacket over it, and no one knows and you still feel comfortable. And I love that about this option. But this is easily paired with any kind of a, um, a summertime dress. I just love another option for you instead of just the cardigan. All right? So while we're talking about a warmer month, I didn't want to leave anybody out. So I wanted to include a warmer month. So I'm going to insert another picture. This is um, a pair of shorts khaki green cotton um not super casual but not dressy by any means and then a flowy strap um halter top and then the jean jacket worn over that i think two with this piece with this outfit you could either do the shorter cropped denim jacket that i'm wearing or one of the other two jackets as well but it just again gives you a different look to um a short outfit. I think it puts it together a little bit more because you've got that jacket over it. Certainly I would not do a blazer with that or any type of structured jacket. 
So the jean jacket is a great option. I would not want to do a cardigan with that look either. I just don't think that look goes together for me and my style. So that's one other reason why I like the jean jacket. So that's another look too. So that was great, taking a look at how to make the denim jacket a workhorse in your closet. We had some different looks, right? We did the first one, which is the one I'm wearing now, which is just casual with a pair of khakis. Any color khakis is awesome. We did one with um, a slightly dressier look with um, some culottes and then some other layering pieces that we talked about. We did a great dressier night. Uh, maybe I, in particular, the one that I showed you was a New Year's Eve look, but it could easily be a date night or a girls' night out or the, the opera or the symphony or whatever. Just a great night out. Um, and then we did one with a maxi dress for summer, spring, fall, a cool evening. And then also took a look at the jean jacket paired with shorts, which I, I think is always another great option for you. But the point being, you have several pieces in your closet that should be a workhorse for you, that should be something that you're able to pull out of your closet and have many different uses for. Um, there are also many styles in a jean jacket to pick from, and I'm sure you can find the one that best suits you and help you to own your style. Once again, I hope you've been inspired by this. If you have, I would love it if you'd give it a thumbs up. I would love it even more if you would subscribe um, to my channel and come back for the next uh, video next week. In addition, I'd love to hear what's a workhorse in your closet, or better yet, challenge me with one of the pieces in your closet that you'd like to be a workhorse, that you'd like to wear more often in different ways. I'd love to get your feedback and hear your comments in the section below. Thanks again for watching and hope to see you back for the next video.